As the number of COVID-19 cases surge in the metro, Kansas City will be under a mask mandate indefinitely. 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling talked to businesses about the news. We will learn to coexist with COVID for the time being. It will be important for us to continue to wear masks. Kansas City Mayor Quinn Lucas extends the mask mandate indefinitely to help slow the community spread of the virus. Please help us help our city by wearing masks. Mask wearing turned into a hot button issue over the past few months, even political at times, as people argue its use. Everything is masked now, mask this, mask that. You can't come in here without a mask. I just think it's really doing too much. That's not something you want to be selfish over. It's just, you know, babies elderly. Look at me, man, I work outside all day. I work around other guys. It doesn't bother me. This is a complaint driven mask mandate. So if you see someone or a business not complying, you can call the 311 hotline. Since this mandate started over two weeks ago, the KCMO Health Department says they've received over 50 complaints a day. It's easy enough to do. If everybody does it for a few months, things should disappear. Tom Wayne is the owner of Prospero's Books and so far sees most people complying with the order. About 80% of them have a mask on. Um, and if it's not dense, I don't say anything. Other businesses, such as Emily's French Tees in Waldo, believes the citywide mandate is helpful if they have to tell someone to wear a mask. Everybody has to do it, so it's easier for us to actually reinforce it. Reporting in Kansas City. I don't really think it's a good idea. Nick Starling. It's just a mask. You, it's not that much to ask for. 41 Action News.